Nicole Shoemaker and I are looking at bit strips, also known as storyboard that. What is storyboard that? Students can use this program to create a digital story in the form of comic strips, graphic organizers, presentations. They are COBA and FERPA compliant, and it is stated in the initial teacher sign up. On their website, you are able to find a list of things that they share and they don't share. Um, so they collect only usernames. They do not collect any personal information or email addresses. If a student were to decide to use their personal name in their usernames, that is their prerogative. They do not share or sell any information with anybody. Google Analytics will, however, look at their site usage and performance to evaluate how well the site is working. The cost structure um, for the district pricing, it is $2.99 per student or $99 for a teacher profile. For an individual teacher, the pricing at first, they have a 14-day free trial. And then after that, you can either be billed monthly or billed yearly, and it would be dependent on, upon the number of students. Um, you can have up to 10 students for $8.99 a month, or 10 students for $5.99 per student per month. Um, they can go all the way up to 200 students. Some benefits of bit strips or storyboard that is students have their own private accounts. They have various options for the students to sign in, such as Google, Office 365. They can create their own username and password, or you are able to create username and passwords to them. You have various options to communicate the student sign-ins with them. You can print them out, you can email them, or you can send them a URL with their login info. There are pre-made activities for the teachers to use. You can also provide them with a template when they are creating their own assignment. Some constraints that I noticed while playing around with it, um, there is not a free teacher website um, like there is for the personal use of bit strips. Certain features are only available when there is a paid subscription. Students need to have a specific access key to log in at first and then need to know what the class name is. I had trouble doing that and I set up my own. Um, so I was unsuccessful at logging into my student's account to do a test. So let's take a look at the website. This is what the website looks like when you log in. There are some free trials for teacher, for work, for film. You can check out the pricing and create a storyboard. Let's log in and see what it looks like. One thing I did notice is it does take a long time for the website to load when you are trying to log into your account or do anything within your own account. Once you log in, you can go in and set up your classes. You can create an assignment. Um, I did create an assignment and I was able to assign it to my class and it came with a pre-filled template of expectations for the students. Okay. So I want to edit the assignment. So this is, you can click the class, you can create as many classes as you want and share them with as much, as many classes as you would like. Um, it allows you to create a due date, um, give an objective for the students and what they need to do. Make sure they have, it says, student instructions. It has beginning, middle, and end. Um, and it allows you to provide a template. And as many examples as what you would want. So you're able to show them good work and poor work. And you are able to add a rubric with their rubric editor. And when you click the rubric editor link, it actually takes you to an outside program for you to create a rubric. It's not actually in 
inside their program. Students are able to create a storyboard then. They can insert different backgrounds. And as you can see at the top, it has different places, historical places that you might want to add, indoor, outdoor. They have characters that you can choose. You can pick their skin color, um, different time periods for them. Um, they have infographics, wireframes, science. So you can create worksheets in there. However, they are not interactive. I thought that was very interesting when I did that. Um, so that is storyboards. I would definitely, I am a first grade teacher, so I would definitely use this in maybe a middle school or high school or upper elementary grade level. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning what storyboards are. Um, these are, I thought it was really cool. Um, thank you.